Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of k and the second root if this given quadratic equation has one given root is negative 3. So let's get started with our solution. As we know that this given quadratic equation has one given root which is negative 3. That means this is same as x equal to negative 3. So wherever we see x over here, we are going to replace by negative 3. Let's go ahead and do that one. So that's going to become negative 3 square plus 2k times negative 3 minus 21 equal to 0. Let's simplify furthermore. Negative 3 squared is going to be a 9 minus 6k minus 21 equal to 0. And here if we simplify this thing, 9 and negative 21 is going to give us negative 12 equal to 0. If I move this negative 12 on the other side, so that is going to give us negative 6k equal to positive 12 divide both sides by negative 6 so that means this negative 6 and negative 6 cancels out k turns out to be negative 2 so thus we figured out k equal to negative 2 is our answer and now in our next step, we are going to, this is our quadratic equation. Wherever we see k, I'm going to replace it by this negative 2. So thus we are going to have x squared plus 2 times k is negative 2. I'm going to replace that one, x minus 21 equal to 0. So that is going to give us x squared minus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. And in the next step, we know that one of our root is negative 3. So one of the root is, our root, given root is negative 3. So we are going to use a synthetic division that is one of the easiest method we can do. And now let me show you how to use the synthetic division. First of all, look at this, our quadratic equation over here. The leading coefficient is 1 and this is negative 4 and negative 21. I am going to put down 1, negative 4 and negative 21 from these numbers and then over here this whatever this root negative 3 is going to come down right here and by the way if you are not sure about the synthetic division you can learn more from my youtube channel by just typing in pre-math synthetic division and you're going to see a bunch of videos that you can check it out all right, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, synthetic division. Let me show you the very first step. First of all, this number one, I am going to bring this one down all the way over here, one. That's going to be like this one. And then we're going to diagonally multiply this one. Negative three times one is going to be negative three. Put this number down and you add these two number up. That's going to give us negative 7. Once again multiply this negative 3 times negative 7. That's going to give us positive 21 and add these number up. So that is going to give us 0 as remainder. So right now let's focus on these numbers only. These one. So the first one is going to be this one without x and this is with x. So what we got is this is going to be a 1x and then minus 7 equal to 0. 
which gives us x equal to positive 7. That means our second root turns out to be positive 7. So thus x equal to 7 turns out to be our second root. Thus we figured out both k value and the second root and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.